Hey there friends, it is me, Mike Harmon, or HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another instant Inkscape lesson. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a sweet sign like I'm gonna use tonight for parent-teacher conferences. So, let's get cracking. And you can see I've already put room 164, and I've added a rectangle that attaches all the pieces together, and a little arrow that I just drew with the line tool. Now up top, I'm gonna put my Mr. Harmon, and I'm gonna do it in a cursive font. First, click the letter A, click the box, type the word that you want to type. I'm putting in my Mr. Harmon, and then I'm going over to my fonts, and I want Forte. I'm going to see if I can get there by doing the F, and then moving down, and it finds it pretty quickly. I like Forte because it's got a nice look in my mind, and it just works for this project. Once I click Apply, I'm going to stretch it across to the size I want. As we all know, um, when we're using Inkscape, we must do path, object to path, or stroke to path. I'm gonna do object to path, and then I'm gonna set my fill with a left click to none, and I want this to be a cut, so I'm gonna right click on the red and set my stroke. I'm gonna move to the size of the stroke, and I want it to be 0.5 millimeters. It is not terribly important, that's just what I wanna use. I'm going to do object and choose ungroup so those are all broken apart at this point. I'm going to move to the rectangle tool and I just want to draw a little rectangle that stretches across my project, switch to the select tool, adjust the height till I'm happy, and then make sure I've got it so it goes to where I want. I want it right. I'm going to zoom in so I can really see what I'm doing here. Click on this piece again and I want it right there was what I was aiming for. So now I'm gonna use my fit view again. I am going to select all of those little itty bitty parts. Missed the bottom of the M. You can see it wasn't highlighted. And now I'm simply gonna do path and I wanna do union. Check it out, it groups them all, it has all the settings set for me. So I am now ready to do file save as and send it to the Glowforge. I'm going to just put Mr. H and save it. Let's move to the Glowforge app and you can see I already cut out those first two words so now I'm going to upload the second half which is what I teach mod tech and computers. My designs are loaded. I'm going to zoom out so I can see a little better. Let's see if I can arrange these so that they fit. I'm going to enter the settings to make it a little easier to see them. I've got one that I go 250 speed, 90% power, three passes, and I already have measured my cardboard to be four millimeters thick. Bring them up so they're on top, away from my magnets, and boom, I am ready to cut my signs. Hit print, let it go to GoForge, and let's watch the magic happen. There's that lovely white button we all love to press. And boom, let's let the GloatForge do its work. All right, so hey there friends. Now you can see the cool cardboard cutout. Super simple on the Glowforge. Love this process. It's gonna be so useful for me with my conferences tonight. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.